What's going on everybody? It has been a long time since I made a YouTube video and that is for good reason. 2021 was by far one of the craziest years that any wedding photographer has ever experienced. The reason for that is partly because of all the postponements in 2020, moving into the year 2021 with all the 2021 weddings that are booking on top of that. So by and large, we saw a record number of weddings and, uh, and that put a real strain on our production and required a lot of my time to be spent on my business as opposed to working on education and YouTube. I wanted to make this video, which is really important, I believe, for wedding and event photographers because there is some new software out that is truly a game changer. And I really don't like to use that word a lot because I feel like that or that phrase, should I say, I don't like to use that phrase because I feel like it's thrown around quite a bit. But there are a couple things in our industry that have been disruptors, things like mirrorless cameras, right? Stuff like that has become real game changers in our industry because they change the way that we do business on the day to day. Now, before I get into this and explain to you exactly what this is, I want to explain uh, the reason why I think this is so important. Now, many of you who are wedding and portrait photographers, when you get to a certain point in your business, maybe you're not a full-time photographer, maybe you do this part-time, or maybe you are a full-time photographer and you're starting to get busier and busier. At some point, uh, if you're photographing weddings, you are going to look at outsourcing your editing. Why? because your editing is gonna take up a lot of your time that you need to be doing other things in your business, things like admin or maybe sales or marketing or some of the important things that happen in your business. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this are gonna say, hey, I would never outsource my editing and that's completely fine. I understand you guys. Now, for many years, we outsourced our editing 100%, right? We used the company and we sent our photos and they came back. Well, in 2019, toward the end of the year, I was getting a little frustrated with the way that the images kept coming back. I just wanted more control over what we were delivering as a final product to our clients. And the companies we were using at the time were not delivering that. And despite all of our conversations and trying to get them to you know, offer what we needed, we could never really settle on a price that made sense and a workflow that worked for our business, right? Enter 2020, we thought, hey, we would hire an in-house editor. And that was great, uh, except it had quite a bit of drawbacks, right? When the pandemic hit, obviously we couldn't keep that editor on because we didn't have any work coming in. So I've always been looking for new solutions on editing in our business in order to A, keep the cost down and to assist us, not necessarily do all the work, but assist us in creating a better product for our clients. Well, in 2021, a new software came out and AI editing has been all the rage the last couple of years, but very few companies have done it right. You know, there's a lot of things out there that will, you know, replace the sky and that's great. But what we really need as wedding photographers is a way to batch color correct our images so that we can go back through and focus on all the creative stuff that we have to do as part of our, our business. Well, a company came out called Imagine AI. And if you haven't heard of them, I'm gonna put a link down in the description because I want you to check them out after you watch this video. What Imagine AI is, is it is an AI editing tool for Lightroom that's gonna help you edit your pictures. What you essentially do is you create a Lightroom catalog and then you run it through the software. The software can be calibrated to utilize a style that you set up and create or it can be calibrated to use one of their preset styles from photographers that they have in their talent profiles. Once you do this, once you train it to utilize your profile, it will actually edit the images in your style. Now, the next question many of you are probably wondering is, hey, Mike, well, does this actually work? Is it something that can be good? And I have to tell you after putting over 100,000 images through it over the last year, it doesn't just work, it works amazingly well. So rather than going through and, uh, and wasting a lot of your time talking about this, I want you to see how this software works and I want you to see the before and after images so you can see how much of a game changer this can truly be for your business. Let's jump into the computer. All right, so the first step in editing with Imagine AI is to create your Lightroom catalog. And you could create a catalog or you can just have a master catalog that includes all your pictures. It doesn't matter. Just however you normally do it is totally fine. It'll still work with Imagine AI. You first want to load all of your images into Lightroom. And you can see here going through these photos, they're, you know, they're okay, but they're not great. They need color correction. Like, you know, they need straightening. They need a lot of things that are pretty standard as a wedding photographer, right? Um, so what this software does is it takes care of that part for you, or at least gets you about 90% of the way there. So in order to use it, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Imagine AI website. So that's just imagine-ai.com. And you're going to download here. 
and put in your information. It'll send you an email with the password. And when you do that, you're going to be able to install the program, which just looks like um, this right here, which I'm gonna pull up right now. So you have a couple of options here. You have teach, edit, download, or fine tune. Teach will allow you to teach Imagine AI your own profile, your own editing style. Now you see here, it requires a minimum of 5,000 photos in the Lightroom catalogs, uh, and you could upload multiple catalogs if you need to, but I have found that you probably want, in order to maintain consistency, you want to upload at least 30 to 40,000 images. Our profile that we created is uh, 50,000 images, right? If you go down here to edit, you'll be able to select from a list of talents that Imagine AI has partnered with us being included in that. I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you use a talent profile, I believe the price is five cents. And if you use your own profile, I believe the price is six cents per image, right? So you can imagine uh, if you're using a talent profile, a wedding of a thousand images is only gonna cost you about 20 bucks if my math is right. I'm not great at math, but I think that's about correct. I could be wrong at that, but it's not a lot. Just put it that way. So come down here uh, and select your catalog and it's telling me I have to close my catalog. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it and I'm gonna hit try again. It's gonna pull all of the images uh, up and you can see I have a lot of images in this catalog, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down to the one that I'm looking for, which is going to be this one right here, okay? I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna give it a project name. So I'm gonna type in 2109 12, that was the date of the wedding, underscore wedding, and then the groom's last name. That's my naming con convention I use for literally everything. And we're just gonna put YouTube here because I have already edited, the, edited this project using this name. Now I'm gonna go over here to select my editing profile. Now, the one that I trained is just this one right here. But what Imagine AI did for us is they created our profile and they made it available for all of you. And that one is gonna be here, California Dreaming. Okay, I'm gonna select mine for, for right now because I had spent time creating this. Again, if you guys like the way these images look, you wanna try a profile, you can just hit um, California Dreaming. Then you have advanced options like crop and straighten. I don't mess around with crop. I wanna use that uh, or maintain that creative discretion myself, but I will click the straighten button. This actually works amazingly well. You could filter your images if you want. I don't need to because they're all in one folder. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit choose. But before I do that, I want you to take note of the time. You can see here it's 1224, right? Now this is 99 images. I'm gonna go ahead and send this in right now, okay? It's fetching it and still at 1224, it's gonna start to send. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna take probably about eight minutes. A wedding will take me about 30 to 40 minutes to send. And then it takes about 10 minutes after that to actually receive the photos back. So before, if you're outsourcing your editing, you're talking about two to three weeks to get pictures back and then you have to do your own edits on top of them and then deliver them to your client. We're talking about an hour here using this software plus the time it takes you to make your adjustments. That is a game changer. That is gonna change our industry. It's gonna allow us to deliver better service to our clients. It's gonna allow us to maintain a better uh, workflow for our business. It's just gonna change the way that we go about post-production. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? This is too good to be true, um, but it's not, it really isn't. I've used this software extensively. Is it perfect? No, it gets us to about 90% of the way there, which you're gonna see in about a second. But for the most part, it's going to get us right where we wanna be. And then we just have to go in and make the adjustments that we would normally make anyway, if somebody else was editing our images. So let's go ahead and fast forward right now to when we get the email saying that our images are ready. Okay, so we just got a notification that the upload is finished, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the images are ready for download. It just means that they've all been sent to Imagine AI. That took about seven minutes to send them. And I should get an email from them any minute now saying that the images are ready to be downloaded. So, okay, so it's 1232 and I just got the email notifying me that the images are ready to download. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit download and I'm gonna go ahead and select the job, hit okay, start download. And just like that, all the images now in that catalog are going to be edited. So I'm just gonna hit open my Lightroom catalog now and you'll see the changes uh, take place immediately depending on the speed of your computer. So now let's go back to the, the front here and I'm just gonna show you some of the before and the after here, okay? So if you see, here's our before and that's our after. Here's our before and our after. Before, after, before, after. And you could see before, after. This also 
adjusted my crop angle a bit, I believe. So let's go ahead and you can see how it strains it out. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty close, right? Now, as I go through these images, I just make slight adjustments, right? Little tiny adjustments. And over time, what we're gonna do is once we finish all those adjustments, we're gonna come back to Imagine AI, click fine tune, re-upload the catalog, and then the next time it'll just be a little bit better. But let's keep looking through the befores and the afters here. You see before, after, before, after, before, after. So let's look at a couple of different types of images here now too. Before, after. Let's go to environmental portraits outside. Before, after. And you can see this one, a little too bright, right? So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this back down. I would re-upload this back to them, but you could see again, before, after, it fixes the white balance, adds my detail enhancements, all the things that I like about our images, right? I'm gonna come down here, before and after. Getting to the actual reception part, before and after. Now, if you shoot it, like this image right here, that was our before and our after, it didn't make a lot of adjustments because it wasn't shot right. So you still have to shoot good in camera. It's not a free for all to just throw your camera on auto, but I'll just go ahead and adjust this a little bit here. And then we'll go ahead and send it in to be part of that fine tune process. Again, before, after, before, after. And again, I want my shadows to be a little darker here. So I make that adjustment. And then looking at some more reception pictures, before, after, before, after, and before, after, right? So you can see here that even though it's not 100% perfect, it is about 90% of the way there. So when I said a minute ago, you know, is this too good to be true? It's not, it is actually true. Something like this can be a real game changer in the way that we go about producing weddings in the future. Well, there you guys have it. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you are gonna rely upon in your business? At six cents an image, this is something that I believe is going to be not only affordable, but it's gonna be something that you're gonna put into your daily workflow if you wanna scale your business because you can focus on spending less time tinkering with the color correction, more time working on the actual creative edits itself. So Imagine AI, again, game-changing software. Go ahead and download the trial. Again, our profile is California Dreaming. If you wanna edit the images in the style that you saw here today, that is our profile with them or you can train them to use your own profile and, uh, and edit images in the style that you want. That's all I have for you guys this time. I promise it won't be another year before we post another YouTube video. So we will catch you guys on the next one.